Welcome to the virtual lab. Today we will be performing a split tensile test. The objective of this test is to determine the splitting tensile strength of concrete and is performed as per IS 516 part 1. We will use cylindrical specimens meeting the requirements of IS 1199 part 5 for this test. It is here necessary to reject honeycombed or damaged specimens. Now, let us see what apparatus are needed to perform this test. First, we need a compression testing machine meeting the requirements of IS 14858. Second, jigs as shown in the adjoining figure may be used to carry out this test. Two packing strips of tempered hardboard having following dimensions of the test specimen shall be used for each specimen and shall be discarded after each such test. A steel loading plate having minimum hardness value shall be used between the platen of the machine and the hardboard packing strip. The piece shall not be shorter than the specimen. Third, tests shall be performed at the recognized ages of the test specimens the most common being 7 and 28 days. Here it shall be noted that if needed, this test can be performed at any desired age. Also, it is necessary to test at least 3 specimens for each age of test. Next, let us see what procedure is to be followed to perform this test. Step 1. Preparing Test Specimens Two ways can be adopted to prepare a specimen for the test. When the specimens received dry shall be kept in water at least for 48 hours and taken out of water just prior to testing. Otherwise, specimens can be casted and taken out of curing tank just before the testing. Your few points shall be noted, that is. 1. The test shall be performed on the specimens while they are wet. 2. Surface water and grit shall be wiped of the specimens, and 3. Any projecting fins should be removed from the surfaces which are to be in contact with the packing strips. Step 2. Marking Draw two central lines on the two opposite faces of the cylinder as shown ensuring that they are in the same axial plane. These lines give us a reference to check the nature of failure to be reported in the final test report. Step 3. Placing test specimens Place the test specimen in the centering jig with packing strip, carefully positioning along the top and bottom of the plane of loading of the specimen. Then the jig shall be placed in the machine so that the specimen is located centrally. Also ensure that the upper platen is parallel with the lower platen. Step 4. Loading The load shall be applied without shock and increased continuously at a nominal rate within the range shown below. This loading rate shall be maintained, once adjusted, until failure. The maximum load applied shall be recorded. The rate of increase of load may be calculated from the given formula. And now let us move on to the calculations. The measured splitting tensile strength FC of the specimen shall be calculated to the nearest 0.05 Newton per mm square using the following formula. Where P is the maximum load applied to specimen in Newtons. L is the length of cylinder in mm and D is the cross-sectional dimension of cylindrical specimen in mm. Next, we shall see how to examine the tested specimen. The fractured specimen shall be examined and the appearance of the concrete and type of fracture, if unusual, shall be recorded. Your unusual type of fracture means the plane of failure is not vertical. Finally, let's see how to report the results. As stated in the IS code, the test report shall contain the following information.